Down, 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 don't let me down. Don't let me down, 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 down. Guys, as you can see, I'm not a born singer. And regardless of what I do, I'm not going to be famous. I'm not going to be standing on a big stage uh, with millions of people in front of me. But what I can eventually do is to decide that I'm going to do beatbox, for example. I cannot beatbox. Like, I can do... Bam, bam. But that's that's kind of the maximum of my current beatbox skill. And the reason I brought this up as an example is because skills in Arena Breakout are pretty much similar. There are actually two things that matter a lot. First one is how talented you are, how naturally you can be good at the game, and how easily you can organically grow or um, improve your skills. That's one thing. And the second thing is how much experience you have with similar games. And these two are going to define your current skill level. And before I go any further, guys, let me tell you that the only reason why I do this hardcore, why you suck at arena breakout type of video is because the game is hardcore. And in order to understand why you suck at the game, you really need to drill deep. You need to understand things in detail including how our brain works, including how we can learn new skills. So if you're not interested in that level of detail, then this video might not be for you. I believe, I truly believe that you can actually reach legend 50 stars if you want to, okay? But you need to accept the fact that it's not gonna be easy. It's not gonna be easy for everybody because as I said, some of us are gonna have better skills naturally. First, we're going to define your current skill level, and then I'm going to talk about the areas you can improve and how to improve them. So your current level, let's call it the soft cap. Actually, there's nothing you need to do consciously in order to get there. Just play the game, okay? And then your previous experience will add up with your arena breakout gameplay, and you're going to set yourself to your soft cap. And most of the players are going to get stuck there because beyond that point, it's not enough to simply play the game. You need to be fully aware of where you are lacking experience and what are the things you need to focus on in order to improve. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck there kind of forever. And by that, I mean you're going to still improve, but very slowly. So at the beginning, and it's going to go up, you're going to feel that you're getting better and better, and then it's going to stop and it's going to be slowing down and almost like nothing is going to change by just playing the game. If you are honest to yourself, then you can look inside and ask yourself that, am I already at that level? And if the answer is yes, then it's time to pick your next improvement area. And in order to help you, I've broken it down to topics. There you go. Here's, here's proof of concept. I had my morning coffee and I started like detailing all the skills we need in order to be successful in the game. And I'm going to guide you through now. The first group is actually something you can easily change. Well, maybe not that easily because some of the things uh, require money, but still, this is something that you can do like, like a snap. Physical device, like the actual device you play on, it's gonna impact your gameplay. Internet connection, bad ping, you know, just get yourself a stable connection. Uh, I know these are not easy topics because if you're located somewhere, then, you know, I, I get it, but still, these are, let's say, the easier things to be changed. You can buy yourself a nice headset to make sure that you're hearing the noises, footsteps, everything. Um, you can decide where you play from, like your environment. Like, are you having a nice chair? Is it loud where you're playing from? Are you in the living room? Are there pets, dogs barking in the background? Um, do you have kids around or such? All of that is going to impact your gameplay. And of course, there's one more thing you can instantly do right now, and that's subscribing to my channel, following me, okay? It's gonna help a lot, I promise. The next topic is arena breakout skills and arena breakout knowledge in general. And most of the knowledge you pick up as you play. Understanding the maps, knowing the spawns, knowing the weapons, knowing the ammunition, knowing the physics, 
all of that knowledge is going to help you getting better in the game. And what you want to do is to check if there are any gaps. And if there are gaps, then focus on them. For example, if you are not really aware of what the difference is between different ammunition types, then spend like 15 minutes reading the descriptions and you're going to be smarter and maybe that's going to put you into an advantage. Besides choosing the right ammunition, there are actually other things you can benefit from, like how to select your loadout, how many spare mags you need, um, what type of medical items you need during the game. All of that is going to help, but that's just the basics. The next big topic is controls and skills that relate to your controls, your heart, your sensitivity and such. This is the point where things become real, okay? These things I'm going to list now, they're going to have a bigger impact on your performance than the things I have mentioned before. So controls, mastering your controls means that you need to have a nice HUD, okay? You need to get familiar with your own HUD to make sure that regardless of what your brain wants, you can actually transfer that to your fingers and you're going to actually tap the correct button. You're going to need to figure out yourself what the right settings are, like as auto ADS by peaking on or off. There is no good or bad. You just need to adjust it in a way where it makes sense for you and start thinking about every single detail. To give you a specific example, I suck in changing from the 1x scope to the 4x scope. And usually I'm just leaving it at 4x scope. Yesterday I died. I lost a full T5 set with 100k AAC against a guy who was T3 and uh, using the new new Bison weapon, okay? I was just lame. I was keeping it on 4x zoom. If I would have mastered the switch to 1x scope, then it would have been an easy kill for me. I just messed up. It was outside of my field of view. So even these minor things can have a great or big impact on the game. And now, guys, we're going to get to the section which is going to have the biggest impact on your gameplay. And those are the combat skills, okay? Because at the end of the day, in Arena Breakout, who is better in combat, that person is going to survive and that person is going to be successful in the game. And let's break it down. First of all, you're going to need to learn reading the enemies or spotting the enemies. By that, I mean not just map awareness, not just understanding the noises and footsteps, but also predicting or reading where your enemies are. And then based on that, if you are the one spotting them, you're going to have a great advantage. I'm absolutely sure that you died many, many times not knowing where the shots come from. In that case, the enemy was better in reading you, in reading your mind, knowing what you are going to do. And they precisely knew where you are. They shot you and you just died. And let me remind you, this is a hardcore game, so there is no second chance, okay? You peek and you peek again, maybe that's the end of the story. Maybe in other games they're going to start shooting you, then you can reposition, but not in Arena Breakout. You also need to master the timing of your attacks, so even if you know where the enemies are, you cannot, like, anytime just start rushing them. Maybe you're going to hear them, like, popping a nade, and that's the right timing. It's very situational, so it depends on the map and situation, but timing, timing, guys, is key. The next two items within this topic are the ones which are extremely hard to master, okay? Like your time to react, like your reaction time or reflexes, basically how quickly you can transfer from your brain to your finger and let your finger press the fire button, stuff like that, okay? It requires tons of time to practice and master. And this is the thing where some of us are going to hit a hard cap and you can simply not become better. We just need to accept that. It's absolutely fine, but not every human being is going to have the same results. Maybe you are never going to be able to get below 200 milliseconds. Same for me with singing. Don't let me down, down, down. Even if I practice, I'm going to get to a certain point where I cannot improve. And the second one, which is equally important, is your aim, your tracking and tracing. This is something you can definitely improve over time by practicing, practicing, practicing. But there may be some players who are always going to be better, which is fine. Not everybody is going to be like a global top one. 
but let me remind you that you can become legend 50 stars okay everybody can do that if you want to if you are dedicated and motivated and you are willing to spend some time improving these items okay and some other combat skills like dropping your bag before the fight taking painkillers before you enter the fight making sure that your magazines are full um, practice using uh, grenades and such all of that is going to help you getting better and there is one more group which is having items related to you okay your inner self first one is self-confidence if you are confident that you are good in the game and you have that self-confidence level, then you're gonna perform better. If you enter the game and you're gonna feel that, oh my God, I'm gonna die again, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna lose all my stuff, then your self-confidence level is not good enough. A good example for people with high self-confidence level would be those players who are using the voice commands. You picked the wrong fight. So if you meet those type of players, then remind yourself that those guys are really confident that they're gonna kill you. The second within this topic is fear of losing stuff. I heard from many players that they have sweaty hands or shaking hands or the stress level just goes up or their heart um, starts you know, pumping faster. All of that somehow relates to fear of losing. And I, I still personally have that, so don't think that I'm a robot or such. You know, it's just a bit more risky to play in high-end tier because that's gonna trigger that fear of losing and I personally I'm the most stressed if I already have two or three kills in a game I already picked up stuff and then if I get at that point into another fight then the stress level goes up and then I actually have that fear of losing. So again, let me remind you that I'm not professional. I'm like semi-pro. I understand the concept and I personally still work on these, on some of these to improve myself. And still within this category, try to play the game if you are calm, if you are not being frustrated or upset, if you are because of like real life stuff or eventually due to losing tons in the game, then just stop because that's going to put you into a mindset which uh, is not going to allow you to play well enough to beat the game. And same applies if you are being too tired, you didn't sleep enough, or if you are drunk, obviously you are not going to perform well. So guys, we went through the whole list and now I want you to evaluate yourself and I'm going to help you with that, okay? I put together a questionnaire on Google. You're going to find the link in the description. Use that to rate yourself, okay? And while you are filling out the questionnaire, I want you to pick the three main focus areas. You need to be honest and transparent with yourself, otherwise this is not gonna work. But if you feel like that you're rating something for five out of 10, then that might be one of your focus areas. I'm not going to share the results, the individual results with anybody. So no need to be afraid of that. I'm planning to share the overall results, depending on how many submissions I get. If I get at least 50 or 100, then this is something I might be sharing with the community, just to show you that you are not the only one suffering of a specific thing. I'm also planning to share the results with my official Arena Breakout contact, and maybe we can come up with something, with content, that helps you improving in that area or to support you getting better. And actually, this is it, guys. I know it was a heavy topic, but if you get to this point of the video, then I'm very proud, 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 proud. Maybe this is how I should be starting the beatbox. Thank you for making me proud. And um, if you haven't already, then subscribe to my channel. Going forward, I'm gonna be covering both Arena Breakout Mobile and PC to make this a big, lovely family. Don't forget to join my Discord because it's full of nice people. And as always, shoot, loot, subscribe, enjoy your day. See you next time. Shady out. Bye.